Hello Orchid friends. I am afraid I have to admit that this is another cold damage video. This time it's about cold resistance of my beloved Psychopsis. Or rather a lack of cold resistance of my Psychopsis and a mistake that I have done twice. I open my windows every day to let in fresh air. It's winter time and although our winter is extremely mild, the air is cold sometimes. And then I cover the plants nearby the window with cloths to protect them. The temperature had dropped a bit, but it wasn't yet freezing outside, maybe about 7 to 8 degrees Celsius or 44 to 46 degrees Fahrenheit. This time my psychopsis wasn't covered, but it has a cozy place a meter away protected by other plants around it and I used to open this window for only about 2 minutes or so. The next day I was shocked because I had seen something like this before. The leaves had become glassy and I prepared for the worst. A few years ago I had a psychopsis which was doing fine in the beginning, but I overestimated its tolerance to cold. The overall temperatures on my windowsill were way too low and that is what caused cold damage in the end, and what I suppose to be a severe bacterial infection. I can only guess how low the temperatures were back then at the tilted window maybe 13 to 15 degrees Celsius or 55 to 59 Fahrenheit during night time and maybe 15 to 18 degrees Celsius or 59 to 64 Fahrenheit during daytime. In its natural habitat such cool temperatures do occur during night time but at the same time the daytime temperatures are way higher about 26 to 29 degrees Celsius or 80 to 84 degrees Fahrenheit. So they live in areas with wide diurnal ranges but way higher average temperatures. The plant survived but had been weak ever since until I gave it to somebody who hopefully could provide conditions to nurse it back to full health. This time I went on vacation and when I came back it had recovered completely instead of died. That was quite a surprise. The glassy spots had disappeared completely. I have waited for more than two years for it to flower for me and finally got a flower spike. I would have been devastated if the story would have repeated itself because I love Psychopsis flowers. But this time I was lucky. If your Psychopsis doesn't perform well, is only growing slowly or seems to be prone to infections and your average temperatures are similar to those I mentioned, maybe this could be the problem. Thanks very much for watching, I hope you found it interesting and until next time.